you know, typical one is having a great time and the other is like, eh. <laughs> Uh, school, oh, school. Middle school, you know, yeah, right. that's how it rolls. Uh, we are starting your week at one of my favorite new places in the Cape, for real. You've heard of Jungle Bird Tiki, right? It's amazing. So the owners have opened up a new spot just down the road called Front Porch Social. Jungle Bird's great. Yeah. I can only imagine how great this place is. And uh, one of the greatest of the great, Rachel, <laughs> is out there right now showcasing it. Rachel, always nice to see your smile on a Monday morning. <laughs> Hey, good morning, you guys. We're having an epic Monday morning because we're checking out brand new restaurant, Front Porch Social, and hanging out with hey, Jeremy. Hello. hello, how's it going? Really good. We're talking good really good cocktails, really good food, and a brand new restaurant. Yes, yes, we're happy to be here. Happy to be whipping up some good drinks, some good food. Uh, just happy to be doing what we do best. 100%. So, so we're going to knock out another cocktail yeah, this time around because it's early in the morning, and why not? Why not? <laughs> So, yeah, this is the Jam Bramble. Okay. Uh, this is a, a Rittenhouse rye-based cocktail okay. with a pepper jelly in it. So kind of an interesting uh, ingredient. But and I know we said we're going to start off with cocktails, but this pepper jelly made me think of the Monte Cristo because you said that they, that, that has some pepper jelly in it as well. It does. So uh, our cocktail menu kind of represents the food menu, and we use a lot Ooh. of the same ingredients. So okay. um, they're making a lot of their sauces, a lot of... I mean, as much as we can in-house, and the same thing is for the cocktail menu as well. So anything that we can make here, uh, syrup-wise or infusion-wise or anything like that, all uh, gets put behind the bar as well. I so, love that. And that's yeah. the same kind of situation at Jungle Bird Tiki. So if you've been there and like those cocktails, you know you're going to get good stuff here oh, as yeah. well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So let's get this up for you. Woo! So if these cocktails are kind of similar... Oh, you were saying just like the creation of it. So, I mean, do are certain cocktails going to pair better with certain menu items or just kind of go with your heart? Well, I mean, it's kind of what your heart desires. So, you know, we have a, a wide base of spirits uh, that we're using. So some of them will pair really well with some of the, the cocktail menu items and stuff like that. Uh, definitely, definitely will have a, a good, you know, let me get a different glass. Uh, but yeah, definitely uh, uh, either way will work uh, if you find something that you like. I would say go for it. Yeah, so. and the cocktail menu, I've been studying it this morning, haha, -ha, has a little bit of something for everyone. I mean, depending on what kind of, whether it's the alcohol that you like, or even I saw some spicy cocktails on there as yeah, well, some absolutely. fruitier cocktails, some bubbly cocktails that we're going to talk mm -hmm. about later this morning. Um, but really quickly, before we run out of time, we do have to talk about this food because I'm smelling it, and it smells amazing. We just talked yeah. about the Monte Cristo a little bit, but salads are a big part of your menu as well. Yeah, we added a couple of salads. We wanted to keep things light, keep mm -hmm. things fresh, so we've got an apple brie salad uh, with strawberries. Uh, we've got uh, Monte Cristo, like you said, uh, kind of a traditional Monte Cristo with a pepper jelly in the house, honey mustard. We've got the pesto gnocchi over there yeah. made in house. Uh, yeah. Really nice charcuterie board. So we've got a little bit uh, for everybody here with cocktails and foods. So. I love this. So mark your calendars, set your clocks, three o'clock is when all the fun begins and happy yeah. hour lasts until six o'clock three to six there so, you go yeah. three hours to come out here and taste test your way through the menu you guys happy monday come check out front porch social today yeah. that it looks is, great that's great I've I've already been there twice. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. So check it out because uh, it's in a great location in the Cape, right there on 47th Terrace. They do have a huge front porch right there on the circle. So that's why they have the name. They have great cocktails, great food, incredible live music, and more. So they're open daily, 3 to 10. Happy hour starts at 3. And we have more information for you on our website. Tubular. Hey, if you have an idea for us, let us know about it. We love taking fun stuff. We like having a good time, if you've not noticed. We like celebrating all the cool stuff we have here in the community. We talk about good stuff. Not doom and gloom stuff. And uh, we want to put her here on the show. We love this. Game. This is exactly the kind of thing, you know. Yeah. These are young, youngish, young to me, entrepreneurs who have.